What's up, nail geeks, and welcome to my last Fair Maiden video ever. So at the Polish and Beauty Expo this coming weekend, the ladies of Fair Maiden will be vending one final time together. Um, if you haven't checked out what brands they have branched into, Monarch Lacquer and Beau Rev, uh, I have both of those brands up for review for uh, introducing both of them if you haven't seen that yet. So in this video, we have um, the Maiden's final collection. We have their Polish and Beauty Expo exclusives. We have their Polish and Beauty Expo expo um, there's an exclusive duo and then i have my uh, wonderful beautiful awesome customs that i have been teasing for quite some time now and i'm giving them away on this video all you have to do is leave a comment below and i'm going to pick two of you to uh randomly with the comment picker to win uh, a, a set of my duo so good luck on that now uh in the beginning here i'm gonna have timestamps for all of this this is a behemoth of a video and then i've also got the will it topper segment at the end so lots and lots here again timestamps are our friends if you need to come back and look at anything it's in the description box below so first off we are going to talk about the maidens final collection this is a six piece set and each of the polishes are named after the uh last episode for various pop culture shows so we've got all kinds of things from schitt's creeks to friends um to golden girls whatever so we're gonna see those first so let's check them out first up we've got the last one this one is inspired by the final episode for friends this is a bright magenta with a blue violet shimmer and reflective glitter so this is quite vibrant. I wouldn't exactly classify as a neon per se, but it is quite bright in person, very much like what you're gonna see on my full hand shot here in just a moment. The shimmer is very strong, and this does have quite a bit of silver reflective glitter, so I'm gonna suggest a good glossy top coat and a glitter smoothing top coat to seal this one up, as you're gonna have texture with it. I think three coats is perfect for opacity. Now, please keep in mind, this is what I would consider a bit of a curly, slightly jelly, squishy formula. So I would go in light to normal on your coats and just be careful of overbuilding it. And next up is Happy Ending. This one's named after the final episode for Schitt's Creek. This is described as a peachy orange with red, golden, amber shifting shimmer and pink reflective glitter. This one's really pretty. It's very flattering, and I thought it popped really well on myself, even though it's warm and how the base and the shimmer come off. I'll suggest going up to three coats with this one too, as it also has that Crelly-like formula that's leaning more on that squishy, ultra jello-like jelly sort of formula. This also is gonna have texture, and as you can see on my full hand shot here in just a moment, Shimmer just takes center stage for everything else. I think in very bright light like the sun or heavy, heavy LED lights, you'll see the reflective glitters. But I think what's going to catch your eye the most is the shimmer. And next we've got One Flew Out of the Cuckoo's Nest. This one's named after the final episode for Golden Girls. This is described as a bright neon yellow base with a subtle red aurora shimmer packed with yellow and green iridescent flakes. I was very surprised with how much I liked this one. It's almost chartreuse, almost, but it's just got that blend between that yellowish, greenish, limeish sort of appearance. And the flakes pop so ridiculously well. Now I'm gonna suggest going in very light on your coats because this has a strong plumping factor and because those flakes are so chonky and delicious that you're gonna want to prevent any over buildup. So I think two coats, applied the way I applied here with a normal coat and then the icing method is perfect and you might want to finish with a glitter smoothing top coat as this one does have quite a bit of thirstiness from all of those flakes. And next is Chosen. This one is named after uh, the final episode for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, of course. Uh, this is described as a deep blue green base with color shifting Aurora. I love this one. It's so pretty. And I think the video definitely did it justice from what I'm seeing in person. This also has that crelly jelly sort of formula. So I think three coats is perfect for opacity. Be careful once again on that super squish factor for any over buildup. Just go in light and use the previous coats texture to adhere your next layer. I'm also going to suggest a glitter smoothing top coat to finish this off as it does have that, that thirsty reflective glitter surface to it and in indoor lights you'll see what you see on the video here on my full hand shot very shifty a touch vampy 
but in sunshine and very bright lights, you'll see that gorgeous glitter. And my personal favorite, I love this. This one is Till Death Do Us Part. This one is after uh, Pretty Little Liars and is a rich, deep blue velvety polish with glowy shimmer. This is lovely and so pretty. I think three coats is perfect for this too. It does have that squishy jelly curly formula, though I think this one leaned just a touch more as a true curly. It built up very easily and it dries down really flat. So you're gonna need a good glossy plumping top coat to make this one sing. It's so glowy in person. And I think my full hand shot and my swatches give you a really good idea of how deep and just, it's like diving into an ocean. It's stunning, it's beautiful. And if you're a blue lover like myself, you're gonna fall in love with it too when you see it in person. And finally, for the final collection, we've got Remember the Monsters. This one is after Dexter. This is described as a violet purple jelly base with olive shifting shimmer finished with iridescent color shifting flakes and gold reflective sparkle. Now, I'm always saying I do not like kitchen sink polishes. This is one of those exceptions. There's so much going on here. The finish overall is what I would consider more of a true shimmer finish, but it's so dang interesting in person so building it up to opacity i think three coats is perfect and it dries down flat very very flat and thirsty because of all the goodies but it's just glowy but when you wiggle your fingers the way that these flakes lay within the finish it's just ridiculously interesting and at very extreme angles it almost has this bluish sort of glow to it Okay, so just to reiterate, uh, the final collection is going to launch on the Fair Maiden website because I know when you guys saw those, you are wanting them. But those attending the uh, expo are going to get first dibs on them. But not to worry, those are not exclusive. They will be releasing through Fair Maiden's website. So the next set is the Polish and Beauty exclusives. Uh, these are um, completely exclusive. <laughs> Uh, for lack of better words, how many times can I say exclusive? Um, these are going to be just for the event. If there are any overpour, they will also have them launching alongside their uh, final collection too. So fingers crossed. Um, otherwise, I've seen in the Polish and Beauty Expo group, there is a thread right now for fairies. Uh, basically, somebody that's shopping for those who cannot attend in person. Um, that is something to consider too for the exclusives. But... Um, if there is over pork, it will be there. So let's check those out. In Willis Tower, Whiskey Sour is a tawny brown base with green, blue, pink, shifting Aurora shimmer and gold reflective sparkle. This one is what I would consider a straight up nude polish. If you have medium to deep skin tones, I think it's definitely gonna play up against you. It's gonna really pop as pretty much a true nude. On myself, I do think that the base color blended in with my skin tone big time. And I think if anything, the shimmer is what popped the most on myself. So if you have golden undertones like me, medium tones, I think it's going to do the same for you. If that's your jam and you like the really, really amped up neutrals, this one's going to be up your alley. And Navy Pier Punch is a bright orchid purple with magenta orange shifting shimmer. Now this is so flattering. It's one of quote unquote, those purples. It's popping. It's really flirting with being a neon. Not quite in my opinion. I don't think it looks like that specific pigment, the one that we all love, but typically fades a lot. I think it looks a little not like that. So I think three coats is perfect for opacity. This behaves very much like a curly. So it dried down very, very flat. And I think that's just because it's so packed full of shimmer. My full hand shot gives you a good idea of how just vibrant that shimmer is. And I think the Will It Topper segment will definitely knock y'all socks off for how shimmery these are. And then we've got Windy City Sipper. This one is a periwinkle base with a gorgeous violet aqua green shimmer. I really liked this one too. It's just so very, very glowy. It also has that heavy, crelly, flat formula to it. So use a plumping, glossy top coat with it. P.S. I have been messing around with Monarch's plumping, glossy top coat, and I'm digging it big time. But more on that for her next collection. So Windy City, I'm going to suggest going up to three coats for it, and you'll be good to go. This has this delicate type of sparkle in it, too, that I think in those indoor lights like when you're in i don't know it's for lack of better words when i'm in like really nice restaurants and bathrooms i feel like that lighting really pops up with this type of sparkle 
And next we've got Chi Town Cosmo. This one is a soft, warm pink with red orange shimmer and reflective glitter sparkle. I was kind of taken with this one, and that's interesting to me because I thought this really leaned as a very, very neutral on myself. So I think if you've got medium to deep skin tones, it's going to play up against you really, really well as a neutral, super, super neutral, and uh, especially if you're warm undertoned. I think three coats is perfect for opacity, and I can see a lot of versatility with this. This is what I would consider one of those flirting with being milky finish, but mostly just like this ethereal, shimmery looking appearance, but I can definitely see it looking ridiculously good over pink creams, but more on that in a bit. And next we have the Door Buster. This one's Gold Coast Gimlet. This is a soft champagne gold with shifting golden green shimmer and aqua blue violet iridescent flakes. This was another surprise for me. Um, I would classify this one as a kitchen sink polish too, but very similar to Remember the Monsters, I was like, okay, I like this. This is interesting because your eyes immediately gravitate towards the shimmer, but when you wiggle your fingers, the way the flakes take on this ghostly looking effect, it's really, really cool. And then in sunlight and in very bright lights, of course that reflective glitter pops and just sparkles so well. This one does have a very squishy formula to it, so I would strongly advise going in light on your coats and finishing with a glossy top coat and a glitter smoother. Okay, so this next set is Monarch Lacquer and Beau Rev. They have, uh, Sarah and Adrian are making a duo for their respective brands. Uh, if you're curious, no, they will not be vending as Monarch or Beau, either one. They're just vending as Fair Maiden. The only Monarch or Beau Rev that's going to be there is this duo. Now, this part is incredibly exclusive. So the only way to get your hands on this, uh, this duo is is to attend the event. They are not gonna have over pours on the website and you can only grab it there in person. So maybe that fairy option might be a thing. Uh, regardless, uh, I do have the Facebook group in the description if you're wanting to do that. So let's check those out. And this is Kindred Spirits. This is a shimmery sort of finish with a, what I would consider more of a berryish, chocolateish sort of base color to it. This just speaks monarch lacquer all over it and it's so so pretty i think three coats is perfect for opacity it's got that softer type of finish to it and it applies like a curly but the way it dries down has this creamy appearance to it it's really interesting now i'm going to suggest a glossy top coat with it but i do think this one will look great mattified too and then the other part of the duo from Beau Rev is Dynamic Duo. This one's a nice bright orangey base with strong, strong shimmer. Seriously, both of these ladies just knocked it out. I mean, the way that they're owning the shimmer game, it's something else. Very exciting to see what they're coming up with in their respective brands. So Dynamic Duo plays up very well against me. I thought it was going to kind of eat up my skin tone, but I, I'm not seeing that. I think it popped ridiculously well for being a warm shimmered, warm based polish. And I really like that. So on my full hand shots, giving you a good idea of that. I think three coats is perfect. Go in light to prevent any over build up with it and finish with a glossy top coat as it dries down flat. And then lastly for pretties is my custom. I tease these on Instagram if you follow me over there. And uh, I also mentioned it, I believe in the Beau Rev review that I did for her intro collection. Uh, but I'm super stoked and excited. Um, if you're curious how these were created, uh, I told Sarah and Adrian for this, these sets of customs that um, I wanted them to just come up with something that made them think of me, for lack of better words. Um, I think they know me pretty well at this point, and I'm so just flabbergasted with how beautiful these are. They're so shimmery, awesome, and uh, no kitchen sink to see here or anything like that. I think they're beautiful and wonderful. So these are pretty exclusive to what I have on the channel here. Um, I don't know, or rather there's not any plans to have my customs ever be released. So as of right now, they are one of a kinds. So if you win them, um, that's awesome. You have one of a kinds. So let's check those out. 
And here is Hooray. This is a uh, purpley sort of base. I didn't get official description for these last couple of polishes, um, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that it's pretty, it's shimmery, and there's hollow flakes in here. And I love it to pieces. So wearing this for me, I wear it at three coats and it builds up really well, but it also has the lightness to the formula that it's allowing all of that shimmer and all of that hollow flake to build up and create this pond effect that has a lot of depth to it. It dries down very flat and I'm finishing off with a squishy good glossy top coat to really make this one sing. And you can see it's leaning a touch as a neutral on me, but I love it. I'm here for it. And then Sarah created my 5K. So we've got the Hooray 5K duo and I'm so in love with this one too. So while Hooray had that delicate sparkle to it and then we've got 5K here, which is this loud in your face type finish and it's blingy, it's awesome. So I think they did very, very good. And I am so incredibly grateful to them both for doing this for me. Now 5K, I wore it at three coats and it plumped up very nice. It's got reflective glitter in it, so it's just sparkles for days and the way that this shimmer sparkles on its own too, there's tons to see here. And when you build it up, it's this purpley bluish shift in between, depending on the lighting, it's just stunning. And here we have the Will It Topper segment. I choose black swatch six because if it pops up over black, it's more than likely going to be able to layer up over other colors to maximize your polish usage. So hooray, I've started off with my customs here. It's packed full of shimmer. So lots of versatility. Personally, I'm going to wear this with lots of violet creams. I think purple is going to look really cool if I layer it. And then 5K, same thing. I No surprise here. There was no skimping at all on the pigments. This is beautiful. And I think a cobalt's going to look fantastic with it. In Dynamic Duo, so no surprise here. So much shimmer. I think this is going to be fantastic with, say, maybe even a deep orange cream. Kindred Spirits, no surprise. I was a little surprised, though, with how much that base color still kind of popped up. So it almost gave it this burgundy-ish sort of twinge. I don't know if you can see it really well when I wiggle the swatch stick. And now we're gonna check out the final collection, starting with the last one. This is stunning over black, you guys. Look how nice that looks. And then Chosen, to me, it looked like a foil finish when worn over black. So I feel like there is some versatility with this one too. You just kind of have to play around with what color. And remember the monsters, I fully expected this one to just be ridiculous in the best way possible. And it is. I think deeper colors are going to pop really well with it. And happy ending. I was pleasantly surprised that the almost cantaloupe looking base, it looks kind of like that against the darker color still kind of popped up a little bit and it gave it a more deeper sunset looking glow and one flew out of the cuckoo's nest now this one floored me i was not prepared for how cool this one was going to look and i just think it looks really badass over black it looks fantastic and i can see this one being used over other lime greens too and then till death do us part so much love for this that is just stunning right there very glowy and very rich on that blue look Chi Town Cosmo, it has this wonderful pink glow to it with that shimmer like sparkle. So I think experimenting with pinks and fuchsia would look really cool. Gold Coast Gimlet, no surprise. I knew this one was going to look just bananas good, and I was right. And then Willis Tower Whiskey Sour has this wonderful shimmer appearance, and it just took away that base color. Navy Pier Punch. This one's going to look really cool over pinks and purples. I would definitely match this one up with respective base colors that are going to complement the base color itself. And Windy City Sipper. I was surprised that this one still retained that nice periwinkle base kind of. So it gives it this more of a bluish shift to the depth and the shimmer, of course, took over everything. 
And then finally, a real quick family shot. You can see how different everyone looks. So lots and lots of pretties in this video. Um, I wanted to share their PBE sales information with you guys. Uh, the door buster is, as we previously spoke about, uh, Gold Coast Gimlet. That one's gonna be $5 as their uh, door buster for the booth. And all polishes are gonna be 12 each. Uh, if you buy three or more, they will be 10 each. So uh, again, just to really remind you guys, the Monarch and Bow Rev Duo is only sold as a set. You can't get them individually, but again, you can only get the set at the expo. So super limited there. Uh, the ladies are also going to have the pastel neon set, which is going to be listed for 40. That is a fantastic deal. If you did not grab it last year, I cannot recommend it enough. It's a fantastic set. And um, I did do a video on that, if I'm not mistaken. I know I did some marbling with it, but uh, if I can find it and I did do it, in fact, and I'm remembering correctly, I will link it in the description box below. But 10 out of 10, you need that set. It's perfect for summer and 40 bucks for the whole set is wonderful. Um, they're also gonna have the Tinties set. Those are gonna be for 50, you can grab all of them. I also did a review on that and a bunch of nail art in that set. Um, so uh, I will link that below in the description box too if you want to re-review yourself and you're looking for some nail art goodies, creams, jellies, they've got them there. So any overpour for the exclusives and the final collection, when it all comes together is going to be after the expo and those will go on fair maidens site on july 21st which i'll link below for you guys too so let me know in the comment section uh, are you attending are you not going do you plan on having a fairy all that good stuff so you can be entered into my giveaway don't forget to enter that and i'm going to have the giveaway running from now this video going up until july 14th this friday before i fly out at 4 p.m central i'll have a pinned comment and i'll also reply to our two winners that are going to be again picked completely randomly from the comment picker and uh, you'll win my duo as always if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you so much for watching